सो हेलो एवरी वन आई यू सम वन हु हैज रिसेंटली कम्प्लीटेड टेन प्लस टू एजुकेशन और ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड एंड आर लुकिंग टू परसू अ फार्मेसी करियर बट आर कन्फ्यूज विद द करियर चॉइस बिटवीन बी फार्मा कोर्स एंड अ डी फार्मा कोर्स देन दिस इज द राइट वीडियो फॉर यू इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लुक एग्जैक्टली एट वॉट इज बी फार्मा एंड डी फार्मा कोर्सेस एंड वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द इम्पोर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट दैट विल हेल्प यू चूज द राइट कोर्स फॉर योर फार्मेसी करियर Make sure you watch this video till the end so that we can give you a clear idea and you can choose your career wisely. Without further ado, let's start. So first and foremost, we would understand what exactly is your B Pharma course. So B Pharma stands for Bachelor of Pharmacy which is a 4 year undergraduate degree program in the field of pharmacy education. In this B Pharma course there is a comprehensive focus on the knowledge and skills related to pharmacy sciences. The eligibility for this course would be to complete your 10 plus 2 education that is your class 12th with physics chemistry biology and at times mathematics with a minimum of 50% aggregate marks. on graduating after b pharmacy course you can opt for various job profiles such as uh, drug uh, inspectors medical representative or you can even pursue a pharmacy business the average salary in this particular b pharma course uh, ranges anywhere from 3 lakhs per annum to 7 lakhs per annum okay so that is in short about the b pharmacy course Now let us understand what exactly is PharmD course. So PharmD uh, stands for Doctor of Pharmacy. PharmD course is a six-year course which is a professional doctorate program designed to train individual to become clinical pharmacist. PharmD course uh, curriculum is a wide range of curriculum which includes pharmacology, medical chemistry, uh, pharmacy practice, along with a hands-on experience through the internship in various healthcare settings at various hospitals. So again the eligibility for PharmD course is also exactly the same as B pharmacy and upon completing your B pharmacy course you would be able to work as a clinical pharmacist hospital pharmacy director hospital pharmacist retail pharmacist drug expert and your normal pharmacist and the salary range for PharmD graduate is anywhere around 2.3 to 10 lakhs per annum which is comparatively higher than the B pharma graduates Now let us understand what exactly are the difference between the courses that is B pharma versus D pharma. So first starts with structure. So when it comes to structure, the farms the B pharma courses offer you the foundational sciences of pharmacy, along with pharmaceutical sciences, uh, pharmacology, pharmaceutics, pharmacy management. So these uh, types of courses are a focus of the B pharma courses. When it comes to D pharma, it is a clinical training which is patient centric, where the focus is on interprofessional collaboration, pharmacotherapy, healthcare system, and evidence based practices. Next thing is the duration. So the duration bit of B pharma is for four years. It is an undergraduate program, and D pharma is a six year program. So whenever you choose a course, make sure that you take this in mind. Again, I've told you about the eligibility that is 10 plus 2. So, at some places for B pharmacy, uh, the acceptance criteria is also 45% at some of the colleges. But when it comes to PharmD, so it is unanimous with 50% marks in your 10 plus 2 education. Now, let us understand what type of learning are they offering. So, when it comes to B pharmacy, there is a uh, not practical learning occurring until and unless you opt for any industrial program during uh, your b pharmacy tenure and even that should be arranged by your colleges but when it comes to pharmd then there is extensive clinical rotations and internship so pharmd course would have an edge with comes to uh, training and uh, the internships again uh, when it comes to pharmacy licensure so after 4 years the b pharma student would be eligible for getting her uh, pharmacy licensure and when it comes to d pharma then that would be after 6 years once they complete uh, the licensure examination and their internship now the next set of parameters would be the entrance test okay so for entrance exams there is a uh, neat cuet okay then respective state uh, cets 
when it comes to uh, farmd then again a uh, neat gpat respective state entrance test would qualify you for this particular course now coming on to uh, cost of education then uh, the pharmacy course would cost you anywhere around 3 to 6 lakhs and this range can vary depending upon whether it is a government or a private course and the same thing is uh, for farmd course would be around 2.3 lakhs to 9.6 lakhs so when it comes to uh, farmd course it is quite expensive as compared to b pharmacy so that you need to keep uh, in mind and when it comes to salary so once you completed your education you, uh, you need to focus on what are the employment opportunity and what is the salary so so uh, for fresher graduate when it comes to b pharmacy the salary would be anywhere around 2.5 to 4 lakhs per annum and for experienced people it will be 4 to 8 lakhs per annum but when it comes to farm uh, farm day students as they are working as a clinical uh, pharmacist or hospital centric uh, roles the salary uh, would anywhere start around 3 lakhs to 6 lakhs for uh, fresher graduates and for experienced people it would be anywhere around 7 to 10 lakhs now coming on to popular colleges so for b pharma students then you have uh, srm chennai uh, madras medical college bits pilani soa okay so this would be the famous uh, b pharma college that you can consider for your b pharma education when it comes to pharmd then you have uh, educational institutes such as uh, jipmer pondicherry or king's george medical college bhu okay national In institute of mental health and neurosciences these are uh, one of the renowned colleges when it comes to uh, pharmacy education so uh, by this table you can would understand the exact difference between both b pharma and d pharma but now let us understand that which particular course is correct for you you know the difference but it is very important to understand for you which course should you select let's see let us understand which particular degree is right for you so in terms of career aspiration so if you aspire to work in a clinical pharmacy uh, practice to pursue a particular patient healthcare centric role then pharmd degree would be right for you but if you prefer a more traditional pharmacy career such as working in retail or in hospital pharmacy then b pharma degree would certainly align with your career goal so it depends upon what kind of setting do you want to work in next thing would be the professional opportunity so if you are looking for a research uh, job market oriented career prospect then that would differ from your degree and it would also depend upon your professional opportunity available to the graduates okay so if you want to pursue a particular career make sure that you consider uh, networking with the pharmacist and to the professional who have completed these degrees and get critical insights from them so that will help you to choose a career path within the pharmacy field okay so you need to work on your professional pharmacy opportunities to understand from the people working in those particular areas. The next aspect would be the time commitment. Okay. So you need to assess the duration of each program. Okay. And you need to be prepared to invest that amount of time. So if you are completing a PharmD degree, which is typically a span of six years. Now six years is a long uh, period of time. And if you leave that degree in the middle, then that wouldn't benefit your career. But if you think that you're not committed, then B Pharma can be a good course for you. It will get over within five years. Also, you need to understand whether you can do a lateral entry okay so after completing a b pharma there is an opportunity to do lateral entry and then pursue pharmd also so that is also allowed in some of the colleges so make sure you understand the time commitment for both the degrees next thing would be the program focus so if you are interested in pursuing a career in research and development quality control or regulatory affairs in particular then b pharma degree would be the right choice for you but on the other hand, if you are interested in patient care services, as if you want to work as a clinical pharmacist, then PharmD would be the right options for you and would be a better option as compared to B Pharmacy. Next criteria would be the educational investment and return. So here you need to think about your financial situation, your capability, because paying fees for four years or six years at a stretch without earning would definitely affect so it will again depending upon your earning potential of the family how they are comfortable uh, in pursuing a degree okay and what is your responsibility uh, with your family and again when it comes to salary it entirely depends upon how you pursue a degree 
so if you want to work in a hospital as a clinical pharmacist and doing a b pharma degree wouldn't certainly help you and it would also de vary depending upon the industry requirement and your skill set that you have occurred during your education so you need to consider the educational investments and returns very carefully and uh, finally coming on to the final choice the choice between uh, the b farm and d farm would significantly hinge on your individual goals so first you need to understand what are your goals then your preferences where would you like to work for a longer period of time okay and what are your aspiration within the field of pharmacy pharmacy is a very broader field but in that particular field where do you want to work do you want to work at a retail pharmacies uh, become a, a hospital pharmacist or you want to work in an industry in a pharma company then b pharma is the degree for you that is a different choice if you want to work at a patient centric role okay so that is again a pharmd aspect and if you want to do an internship in the hospital itself while doing your degree then pharmd helps you with that so these two courses are designed in a different manner to produce different kind of pharmacy workforce okay so you need to understand all the parameters and then and only then choose the right degree for you so thank you for watching this video please make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that we can bring you amazing video and keep you right on the track of your career path thank you